Hello everyone, you're watching Let's Talk About Prepping. I'm Tyler, your host, and in this video, we're going to whip up a sweet little confection using some common household ingredients that we should all definitely have both in our daily baking pantry as well as in our long-term food storage. And that confection is Turkish Delight. Turkish Delight is a sugar and cornstarch gel confection, which is great because you can add a lot of different flavors and ingredients to it like nuts and things like that. Now, for those of you who are Americans like myself, you've probably had your first exposure to Turkish Delight through the book Chronicles of Narnia, in which a young character basically trades his family for a bit of Turkish Delight. Now, Turkish Delight is good, but it's not trade your family to an evil character good. One of the things that Narnia does not mention about what makes Turkish Delight good is that you can make it from items that you can either store for the long term or rotate for the medium term. Now, myself and a few channels around myself have discussed trying to spur a little bit more conversation about food in the prepping and sustainability of survivalism community. Now, this comes in a few different parts, both in the matters of nutrition and the importance of nutrition and health and quality of lifestyle nowadays and in a survival situation, and also when it comes to creating a meal and food storage plan both that work together and allow you to go through your preps and have healthy food and recipes to use that food for both now and in hardship type situations in the future. Now this recipe is a good one because it both lets you use things that you store and it's pretty good for morale. Now I think a lot of people sort of neglect the idea of making treats both because there aren't a lot of treats that you can make from just food storage items and also because we like to imagine the greediness of the situation, not necessarily making candies and cookies and things like that, but especially in a sugar-driven society like the one that we live in today, unfortunately, that kind of morale boost is going to be important and make you a very popular person if you can whip this kind of stuff up. Now, I was given this idea from a much larger recipe channel that just sort of came across my recommended stream, and I'm going to link the video down below both to give them credit and to give you a proper video to go watch on how to make this, because I'm not really going to give you a proper instructional video here. I'm just going to show you my, uh, my trial at whipping this together based on their video, and you can come along for the ride. Hopefully it turns out all right. But if you want the good instructional video, you want to do this yourself, definitely check them out in the link down below. So I'll turn you around and we'll take a crack at this.
Alright guys, well this ended up turning out pretty well for my first batch ever. Uh, much better than I honestly could have expected. So I ended up trying to do four different flavors. I have the uh, almond, orange, plain or lemon juice flavored as that is part of the original recipe ingredients as well as a vanilla base here. I tasted a little bit of each one and they're really good. The almond in particular is very powerful because I accidentally added way too much almond extract, but it's very good. It's still setting up a little bit, a little too uh, tacky or gel-y, but overnight it'll set up really well. I think this is going to be very good and far too much sugar for my family to eat, so maybe we'll see if anybody else wants some. Anyways, I hope this has been interesting. Hope it's a little bit of food for thought, something you might want to try sometime in the future. Hope you're all doing well. Everybody stay safe out there.